I've been in this uh, business, so to speak, since pretty much 1980, then early, early 1980s, so it's been a 35-year journey for me. And as I spoke about earlier in the meeting, I think one of the most um, remarkable developments that's had occurred during my professional lifetime has been surgery for hypoplastic left heart syndrome and other forms of complex single ventricle where when I started out it was essentially uniformly fatal and now it's a, it's the flip of that where we have less than 10 percent mortality and to see this transition and what we as a team have learned over the years is really remarkable when you think about it in, a, in what is a relatively short time frame. The directions changed a lot in many ways. And again, to go back from when I started, with a, many of these extremely complex heart conditions, the aim of the game was to get these babies to simply survive. And we've gone well beyond that now, to now doing multiple studies in how they are growing and developing, how they're fitting in society. And as we see them 10, 25 years later, we now can go back to when they were first born and see what we're doing then as to how that will affect them later in life, something we obviously never had the opportunity to do because we didn't know what would happen. The whole focus has changed. Less invasive techniques, more long-term follow-up, molecular uh, techniques, the ability to try to grow new valves that will actually be implanted with the patient's own cells and will grow with them. All these things are now reaching the fore where it used to be thought of simply as a, as a dream are now really approaching reality.